and so we're going to start with the first one which is the uh, logo image view I call it right here the logo image view right so um, I put in a file called login screen icons where I put in every icon we have in our app and you can download it from the in the description below so we're gonna use that I'm just gonna select all of it and drag it in there like so and actually the logo I did it specifically for that background but Ideally, we'd have a transparent background, uh, transparent logo with no background color at all. But it's just very, uh, it was very inconvenient creating a new logo that is transparent. So I did one with a background. All right, let's start by creating a new logo image view. We're gonna call it, of course, in a block closure just to make our code a little bit more cleaner and I always like to shorten the names so IV stands for image view so I don't have to type that much and it's gonna get the image from our logo like so and now with the help of our um, extensions that are put in, in the UI kit we can use auto layout very easily and if you're not understanding what I'm doing right here um, right now with the auto layout just watch my tutorial that I have on my YouTube channel I'm specifically addressing this particular programming technique or method so we're gonna put in the logo image view I'm going to constrain it to the top anchor save area layout guide top anchor and then to the center oh I'm going to give it a padding of 50 from above and of course we're going to give it a height we have to give it a height I'm gonna use the, the width anchor just because you can use whatever you want and size it, size it accordingly to your needs and lastly we're gonna use the width anchor and constrain it to the same constraints like the um, like the width anchor right here because we want to we want it to be a nice square so it won't be stretched out or whatever so it looks very nice and if we started now we should a logo image view at the very top mm-hmm we forgot this let's start it again as you can see we have our logo right here and it looks pretty great already so Let's move on and do the text field right here.